Hey lovelies, Hi. happy self-care Sunday. I'm here with baby girl. <laughs> and look at all this beautiful hair. Oh my gosh. She is she did like a what did you do? Like a, I did a blow like dry? a blowout and I might a like flat iron it later. Yeah. So anyway, I'm here checking out some stuff for back to school for me. Not for them. For me. Okay, because I haven't been thrifting in a long time. So this is like my favorite thing to do. Plus, we got to try to find some um, frames. I got to show you the like new look of my office and everything that I've been doing. And my friend Amy, well, she goes by A M E E Amy B on Instagram. You'll be able to check out all of her stuff there. Um, and she did beautiful, 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 beautiful paintings for me that I finally was able to put them in a um, in a frame. And I just was not going to pay like over twenty five dollars for a frame because I know I can come to my good old Goodwill here. And I can find this stuff affordably. You know what I'm saying? So I found two great frames for my paintings finally. I'm so happy about that. I'm going to show you guys that in this vlog. And, um, you know, that's about it. And then I got something else in the vlog. But that's at the beginning um, before I put on lipstick and stuff. But um, <laughs> so you guys will be able to check that out too. But today we're just kind of just thrifting. It's girls day. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're just here thrifting. And uh, we'll let you know what we find like we always do. All right. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe.
Um, this is the Ferino end tables. You get two of them. These were very easy to assemble. Thank God. Or I was going to have to call my daughter in for help because I am not that girl who assembles stuff um, with the directions and all that included. No, that's just not me. I'm not that it girl. But my daughter is. But anyway, I did need her help for these. And these are super cute and easy to assemble. Um, they're very sturdy. Although I wouldn't like suggest putting a lot on here. Maybe if you want to do like... Like it's like end table. So you know, put it in your living room or your family room, stack them with magazines or whatever and coffee or something like that. Um, but that's what I think I'm gonna do with these. So just like put little magazines and you know, just like a little table or whatever to accentuate the area. And I thought these were super cute and they're super affordable and they don't take up a lot of space. That's the other thing that I love about these. So I will put the link in the description for you. This is not sponsored by Amazon. Uh, wish it was, but it's not. But anyway, these are so cute. And Amazon, if you're listening, listening, sponsor me. <laughs> I love your stuff. And um, we did prime shipping on this. So if you do prime and you're a prime member, you get your stuff within 24 to 48 hours. So you can't beat that. And um, yeah, I'm really surprised and really happy with this. And I also got to show you guys the um, plant stand that my daughter had to do. It was very tedious to put together. It's like a three-tier plant stand, but she did a really great job and she had the instructions and everything. And I think it took her about 45 minutes to an hour to assemble it, you know, but it was good. It's good. Let me show it to you. Okay, that's the plant stand. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it. But yeah, it came with the gloves, the plant picks. I don't even know what that is called, well, dirt picks. Anyway, utensils for the gardening tools or whatever. Um, came with a little wrench, the screws and everything. Um, yeah, so this is so cute. We can't wait to put some new plants on here because we were having no good luck with the last plant. So hopefully these will be, you know, cute enough. And it has rolling wheels, so you can roll it anywhere. If you're not getting enough sun in the house, you can roll it outside and get some sun for your plants. So you can't beat that. And I think this was by G. Bobo. Um, I will put the link in the description for this as well so you guys can see it. And uh, yeah, this is it. I'm pretty happy. And if you're new to the vlogs, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, subscribe and hit that post bell notifications for more videos. All right, loves. See you in the next one. Hi, lovelies. It's Frederica again. This is actually the outro for this particular video. I just wanted to let you guys see this finished product of the desk that my daughter built for me. It's been built for about a couple of weeks now. It's been doing great. I really love it. I love the fact that it's small because the last desk I had was just too big and I just didn't like it at all. So this was a really good buy. It's beautiful. Um, it's the width and everything that I want. Uh, my son will also be using this too because if I am not after him about doing that homework, he's not going to stay on top of it. So with school starting in a couple of weeks, I got to make sure, you know, he's on top of his game and I got to make sure he get on top of the game. So that's why he's going to be right here where mommy can watch him and make sure he's doing what he's supposed to do when he's supposed to do it. Okay. But anyway, that being said, um, let's move on to these beautiful paintings that my friend Amy did. And I will put her Instagram down in the description as well. So you can give her a follow. She did these beautiful paintings for me when my mom's passed away, my mom and mom-in-law. And she sent these to me and I'm telling you, they've just brought me so much joy since I received them and they're beautiful finally found some frames for them affordable frames over at the goodwill so i was so happy to get those and um yeah so this is how the little space is looking this map i got it from hobby lobby a while ago just thought it was really cute actually it's a poster yeah and then i got this cute poster too love is patient love is kind it's not rude not easily angered boastful envious so that's just you know something that reminds you you know what love really is on a day-to-day -day basis so i love that then I got this from Hobby Lobby. When I did the Hobby Lobby haul for you guys, you check in the playlist, you'll see that. Um, I had bought that then. I paint objects as I see them, as I think them, not as I see them. I think that's really good because we do a lot of art around here and that's basically what we do. Um, paint by the really best artists in the family, I'm gonna tell you. That comes in first, second, third, and fourth place. First is my daughter. Second is my husband. They probably would, he would probably disagree with that. And then my son can come in third and be a distant fourth. But I'm not super bad, but I'm not super good either. But anyway, <laughs> I 
Um, then I got the Girl Boss sticker, which I got that from, I think, Dollar Tree a while ago. And then they had this, Inhale Courage, Exhale Fear, and then I put that on, um, like, cardstock paper, which I probably need to revamp this, and I will, but... For right now, I'm just loving the way everything looks. So this basically is the outro. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Love you, lovelies. Bye. More videos coming soon. Hi, lovelies. It's Marika. I'm really whispering right now because it is literally 5 o'clock in the morning, okay? Um, I'm the only one awake. This is Sunday. So happy self-care Sunday. Let's get my bonnet on because honestly, hopefully I can go back to sleep. But you see this closet back here? I got to clean it. And um, as you get ready for fall, you got to get rid of stuff that you don't need or you don't wear. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm just trying to get rid of everything I know that I'm not wearing or I don't need anymore because it just doesn't make sense to just keep that stuff in your closet. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, hopefully I will have a fall thrift haul coming for you guys soon so you'll be able to check that out okay so just stay with me and um i don't know what else do i have to say it's five o'clock in the morning i haven't had coffee or anything so bear with me but anyway yeah um this stuff we gotta we gotta go through it um and yeah let me just show you what time it is 5 a.m yep not 5 p.m 5 a.m but anyway let me just get right into it Okay, lovely. So I'm going to start with my dresses. Um, I did sort through these yesterday so I could just like go through them. I have a lot of skirts that I think I'm not going to deal with anymore. I'm going to keep this. I like this dress. Uh, I like this dress. I'll keep it. I counted like that I had like 23 of them, which I don't even wear dresses as much as I used to. And I'm definitely not a skirt person anymore, so I might give all those away, honestly, so I can put my um, pants in the closet. And jeans and stuff because it just makes sense you know so that's a white dress I'm gonna keep that and I just I went through these yesterday but I'm going over this with you guys so you can see you know like what I'm keeping um, I like this dress it's a little polka dot sheath dress that I got it's cute um, so I've worn this red dress before I think this is cute and I'm sure you saw this in a video before. I'm keeping this. This is by Calvin Klein, but I took out the tag because it irritated me when I wore it or whatever. I think that's just really pretty. Um, I'm going to keep this dress. Keep it this one. Definitely keep it this one. This one. I did this in a video once. Pretty yellow. I did this one as well. I don't think you guys ever saw this one before. Let me see if I can get it out. It's stuck to another dress. Ooh, sorry if you guys see only clothes. But anyway, yeah, this is really cute. I love this dress. When I get tell you I had this about six years. Maybe longer. Maybe what is it? Let me think. This might be longer than six years old, but I love this dress. It's so cute. It's timeless. And uh, yeah, it's pretty. I might wear it today for you guys to see what it looks like. Uh, what else? Oh, this might be coming up dark. Sorry, that was too dark. Uh -huh. Just a little navy, red, white, and blue Tommy Hilfiger dress. Tank dress is cute. Um, mm -mm. This is cute, and let me guys know. Let me know if you guys want. The, sorry, I'm still jumbling my words, but anyway, let me know if you guys want to see like a, a dress haul, like a try haul. Just comment down below, you know. And I'm sorry, my you know my throat sounds so bad. Honestly, I've been getting over a cold this week too, because my kids wanted to share with me, um, you know. So that's what happens when they go back to school. And I like this dress, it's cute. What else? Um, 
Oh, I thrifted this dress. I don't think I ever showed you all. I don't know. It's a Michael Kors little skater dress or flare dress. Very cute. I love this dress. I thrifted this. Yep. Yeah. Never going this way. I don't think so. Yep. Anyway, I fell. That would happen during the video. Let me pick it up. Uh, what else we got? Um, this one. Pretty sure I did this for you all too. Like in a haul, I think. Or like a lookbook, something. I'm pretty sure I wore that before. Um, keeping this one. And I'm keeping this one. She's very pretty. And most of my dresses have thrifted. I gotta hang this one up later. It fell. And it's a play. Definitely gonna hang it back up. Let's see. Then, let me see. My closet is very small. Literally. This is all I'm working with. It's horrible. Then, I have like, this is just like my graduation gown in here. I don't ever throw that away. What else? Um... All these skirts, yeah, so I gotta go through all these skirts. You know, and I'll check back in with you all. I'm really not thinking I'm gonna keep all of these, but we'll see, okay? And I'll check back in with you all. Okay, lovelies, here is the skirt situation. Um, I'm gonna go through these off camera and then I'll come back to you, but look, this is it. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep most of these because I'm not really a skirt person like that anymore. It's just like my style... It's like it evolved. And I'll just say COVID had a lot to do with this. Um, the COVID-19 pandemic because, you know, people weren't going out. They weren't dressing up as much. So literally a lot of things that I used to wear, I don't wear. And I had to like adjust my style within the two, almost three year period that we've been going through COVID-19. You know what I mean? So um, a lot of the stuff I no longer need. And I'm just going to like give it away to family, friends or donate it to the Goodwill. So that's what I do. I'm not attached to my clothes. I love them when I get them and I wear them and I, I find usefulness and love for them. You know what I mean? But once I just like, I'm over it, I'm over it and I'm, I'm okay with giving them away. So, you know, just be like that. Don't be attached to a size that you used to be. Don't be attached to clothes, you know, or anything. Just don't be attached to anything. Just let things go and live your life freely. You know? So I, I find so much like joy in getting rid of things. You know, and it's like somebody else is going to find some usefulness out of it. You know, I was able to find um, some dresses for my sister-in-law that they can use. Um, another shirt for one of my other sister-in-laws. So I'm going to feel good about that, you know. And I keep my clothes in great condition because I don't even wear them a lot. You know what I mean? So um, I wear them, don't get me wrong, but I don't wear them out. I'll say that. So when you're getting something for me, it's like you, you generally went to the store and bought it. You know what I mean? But um, anyway, uh, yeah. Got to go through these skirts and I'm going to get back to you all. Okay, lovely. So this is the updated skirt situation. I am giving this pretty skirt away. Um, very pretty. Look at the designs on here. It's like blue, white flowers. Then I'm giving away this one. Another floral pretty skirt. It's like a cottony spandex material. Also give it away... This skirt, so cute. These are to my sister-in-laws, three of them that I'm talking about when I say sister. Sometimes I'll say sister-in-law, but really it's like three of them, um, you know, that I give them to mostly. Uh, but anyway, going back to what I was saying, here is another skirt I'm giving away. So my skirts have downsized a lot, and I'm so glad about that. And I'm giving away this top to one of my sister-in-laws. Very pretty. And it's basic, so. And then this black and white skirt, which is like a scuba skirt. Um, so it's gonna be fitted real nice and, you know, spandex material. So yeah, like I was saying, don't hold on to stuff. You know, get rid of it if you're not using it anymore. Um, give it to the next person you love. And like I said, COVID-19 changed kind of, I think, the way 
everybody dressed for like two and a half to three years, especially me. So with that being said, I'm so glad to kind of clean out my closet because I haven't, I keep it organized, but I haven't cleaned it out thoroughly since then. So, you know, some stuff had to go, honestly. Okay, lovelies. Thank you so much for like being with me and I'm going to show you what time it is in a minute. Let me just run through the closet and um, tell you how everything is organized right now. I got the dresses here, uh, shirts here, like shirts, a um, little bit of skirts. I was glad to downsize those. I'm not really a skirt person like that, so I'm so glad I got rid of those. I mean, I do wear skirts, don't get me wrong, but I prefer either a dress or some pants, you know, either or. But I have a few skirts, and I think you should have a few skirts in your closet because you never know when you need to wear a skirt and you throw a cute little graphic tee with it and you out, you know, you're out the door or whatever. Then um, I got my two denim jumpsuits here. I thought I had more than these, but I guess I only got two. I don't know. I don't really know what happened to them, but I'm hanging them up because they're so long and they, I mean, where else can they go? So I have to fold them over. Then I got like jackets here, like sweatshirts or whatever. I got my two little vests here. I was going to give away this brown one, but I think I can style it some more, you know. So I said, let me let me just keep it. You know, it was, it's cute. And I, I can style it some more. Then I got this, like, little, like, grandma sweater. I haven't worn this yet, but I think this will be really cute for, like, Christmas. I'm trying to show it to you guys. I thrifted this a while ago, but it's so cute. It's like a grandma sweater. It's so cute. And, of course, my husband's shirts. <laughs> Every time he sees me wearing these shirts, he'd be like, Oh, you got on my shirts. But you know what? He was giving these shirts away. That's the funny part. So I'm like, yeah, you was going to throw them away. You didn't even like them anymore. So, <laughs> so yes, I'm going to wear them. And I do wear them, and I've styled them in some videos. So nothing goes to waste around here with me, okay? Uh, what else we got? Um, then look, I got this. I showed you guys this in a style of video. Oh, I got to wipe that off. I didn't see that stain. I'll wipe that down. Then um, another jacket. This is real leather. I thrifted this one. I thrifted this one too, but this is faux leather. And some blazers. All of my blazers and denim jackets are like here, right there. And then we ended with the coats. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have a fall haul for you. So just don't hang on to stuff, you know, because y you know, you can get more things with time. You know what I mean? And everything you can do on an affordable budget, you know? Um, like thrifting, that's what I do a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, I told you guys I'm trying to fight back this cold, but anyway, um, you can thrift things, uh, I've found some cute stuff even at Five Below, just sometimes just look at places where you think you would never, you know, find things at, uh, also shoe haul coming soon, yeah, I know, I tell you guys that in every video, and you start, probably have stopped believing me, but it's coming, all right, um, yeah, so that's it for this part of the video and uh, just hang, stay tuned for self care Sunday vlog. All right, lovelies. Just a quick update. There's the updated time, 6.35 AM. All right, lovelies. <laughs> I forgot to do that for you. Hey, lovelies. I just wanted to add to the video. I know I said something about you can shop at five below if you want to too, and you can. Um, I just don't want people to be like, oh, what if I can't find anything at five below and be upset? So that's why I always mention thrifting. As another option for affordable fashion because you know sometimes it just depends on what you have in your budget and what you can do to have a nice you know wardrobe some people think they can't dress nice because they don't have a lot of money to dress nice and that's just not true I don't believe in that you know when I was growing up my mom thrifted you know a lot and we went to JC Penney you know and to this day I kind of do the same things and I went a lot to like Carson's when they were open because they would used to have um, 50 I think you would spend like $100 and they would give you like $50 coupon. So that's really good. A lot of these stores now, they don't do that for you. You know what I mean? But um, I miss Carson's. They were real ones. I don't know. A lot of good stores closed in like 2019 and stuff. Then 2020, we got the pandemic. And, you know, it's just crazy. A lot of things have been happening in different eras. If you, you know, you look at everything. But like I'm saying in the video, I'm telling you, you can dress the way you want. You know, even if you basic, like a basic tee and jeans. You can find that easily at the thrift store, you know what I mean? So don't think you can't go anywhere else. Then also you have girls who don't like thrifting, you know what I mean? So then I try to cater to those girls and then we go to Discovery, you know, and I show you 
what bargains are there. You may not have a discovery in your town, but you might have something else where they sell jeans for like between $19.99 and $29.99. You know what I mean? So I think those are good price points, you know, and then they have ties between the same price. So to me, that's affordable fashion. You know what I mean? And some people might say, oh, well, that's fast fashion, you know, but I think as a fashion blogger, lifestyle blogger, you have to kind of cater to everybody's, um, you know, different needs and different budgets. And so that's what I try to do here on my channel. I just try to be as specific as I can. And I show you the truth about like how I get stuff and everything. I'm never on here to brag because I, I'm just not that type of person. I don't believe in bragging. You know what I mean? It's nothing to brag about. If I have things and I'm blessed, I'm, I'm blessed enough and I'm happy enough to show it to you. You know what I mean? And it's no secret. You know, I use coupons. I go to the clearance rack first. You know, I'm not going to even front. <laughs> so, you know, um, that being said, I just want you to know you can dress and you can look nice on a budget. You don't have to think you have to pay a lot of money to look good. You know what I mean? If you have questions for me, you can always follow me on Instagram and just, you know, DM me any questions you have about fashion. I'm really open to the public. You know, if you have any questions for me uh, about styling or whatever, I'm here for you. I style people too. You know, so just let me know if you have any questions. I'm, I'm here for you all. So I said I had to just jump back in here and say that because I don't want people to think like, um, you know, I don't shop at fashion, uh, at Five Below. You know, you might have people like that. And then some people say, well, I don't thrift. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to hit all those points when I talk about affordable fashion. So, yes, um, signing out for real this time. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, okay?